Hey guys, Filthy Robot here, back with the Roomba to continue our Civilization V playthrough of Sweden. In the glory of our general plant, 10, well, immediate 8 happiness, followed by 2 happiness a little bit later. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, we're gonna do all that. We're gonna do that last, because these things are far more important, right? <laughs> That's correct. Alright, let's check out happiness. the happiness. Yeah. Nice. All right, that's all the workers. It's exactly two military units. We have a caravan. It's already in Stockholm. Send food back to Sweden. Absolutely. Yeah, there's like really no choice to be made there, right? No choice at all. And well, now it's could, four. The choice could be to move it to a different city. Yeah, it's four because of era, right? Oh, so. uh, the only reason to move it to a different city would be if we thought that this path was dangerous, right? Yes, correct. But I don't. So good. I think we're good. Okay. Um. Okay. Fine. I guess we'll click the button here. Yep. Instruct a citadel. Why is Beautiful. it okay? So we're actually removing the forces, the horses. Can we then rebuild? Yes, but, but we, we can. We can delete the citadel by putting us uh, stables there, and we will do that. Really, we're gonna lose the negative thirty AOE damage. Wow! Oh, it's an amazing, it's an amazing combat thing. We, but we don't need it versus city states. It makes no fucking difference. Well, I want to intimidate the shit out of these guys for stealing our workers. Yeah, They're okay. too dumb to be intimidated. Aha! All your base are belong to us. That's right. Sons and of actually, bitches. you should go work this house too. Six more food this or six more gold this turn. Okay, so we will unlock. Let's just, just, just yeah, just, reset. Yeah, I agree. Just yeah. simple. Uh, okay, so I want to work that. I want to work that. And I would lock the spices. Other than that, I'd be happy with this. And yeah. actually, I'd lock the farm oh. and I'd lock the horses. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Okay, that is that is beautiful. Look at that. Suddenly 12 happiness. And we're about to pick yep. up another four. And also, you just took 10 happiness from Portugal. Not that it matters cheating AI deity, but, you know, if it was a player, that would be minus 10 happiness for him. So he would probably, most likely, most we players probably don't rock 10, 10 excess happiness, right? They're probably... Yeah, F9. And, or, sorry, whatever the demos is for you, F1, I think, or 1 or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you look at... Uh, so, see, approval? Approval is actually a happiness score. 60 approval is zero happiness. And I believe it's intervals, I want to say, I can't remember if it's two or three on, on this. So um, when it's below 60, you're going to see them as unhappy. And there is a formula for this, and it's intervals of two or three, I believe. So that, like one happiness is two or three percent on this. That's such horseshit nonsense. Why would they do that? I don't like I, that. I don't know. You should just say yeah, the damn it number. Is, it is directly equatable. One, like you can make, you can calculate someone's happiness based on that score. See how Portugal is still at 100 too, which is bullshit. 100 actually, 100 doesn't mean anything. It just means they have more than a certain amount of happiness. Oh, so yeah, it's nonsensical. Oh, we got a we got a quest for wine too. There was a city state that wanted us to connect wine. We which well, what? It might no. it will trigger at the beginning of next turn. Yeah, remember that city state <laughs> we're over in the far the far west by Germany? Yes. Let me. Uh, we have got this guy here. It's uh, Vatican City, who we just pissed off by the way for walking through their land by yeah. six six opinion. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Really unfortunate because that's like six turns that we could have been friends, assuming that that quest was going to give us enough. But it's just we'll fate. see how much it gives us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here, we just finished a caravan. Next up is Circus, maybe, or no? Well, circus is nice. Uh, I'm not against it. Uh, I kind of want a worker right now. Mm, yeah. Seeing as we lost a worker, yeah, it's extremely unfortunate. But yeah. Yeah, it makes me sad. It makes me want to cry. Tears. <clears throat> he wants to give us... How much do we have? Uh, I think that we were down to just the three that we had available. No, 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 that's not true. If you we... left click on it, you can see. If I left click yeah, on left this, because yeah, oh. it removes it. Mm, yep, gotcha. So we have six right now, so we can actually sell him a couple. This is his attempt to Very renew well. a deal that we made three times over. That's why that happens like that. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, and now we should have all right two showing, which means we actually have three. three. So we, can we sell? We can sell one more then, right? Because we only have two warriors we want to upgrade. Uh, no, we needed we, to keep one we were importing from Germany. You didn't want to owe a foreign nation. That's correct. That's correct. I didn't want to. That's right. Good call. Good call me. Previous me. Sober me. Me, me, but also good job me for remembering. Yes, excellent job you remember. Yeah. Uh, take that shot, I assume. Uh, how much damage would our warrior do if he slammed, or yeah, our swordsman do if he slammed into it? Okay. That's without the flanking. I, we could and, get yeah, that. we could get flanking. I like that too. What I don't want to do, I don't want our unit to end up on the compo's tile. So yeah. if we kill that compo, I want to kill it with the city shot. This if we don't kill it, I'm okay with it. This guy's got three. It means we can he sell two. He might even two. have four. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is why I don't want to piece them yet. I want to take all these things back. That guy has a trebuchet. Are you fucking kidding me? Go look at trebuchet tech. Look at these cheating bastards. All right. Physics. 
Okay, well, hey, right. you, you're the one who said you could beat Didi, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, we, oh, we can. I'm not worried about that in military. I just think, I just, every time I see that, I'm angry. I'm angry at their tech. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what to do over here? I mean, we could, we could kill some trees. We could uh, do farms. We could, I, like I, mean, I like the idea of finishing the farm with that and then killing some trees. Okay. So we're going to want a freshwater farm on that tile with the tree. I like the idea of improving the gems on this because it's a luxury we can sell. Okay. Yep. We're at... Uh, one move. Yeah, take us two, two turns. Moves. Move to the hill first. Over the, that, it's just safer. Yeah. If there's something lurking in the back, it's just closer. Yep. Plantation looks good. Uh, how's our gold? Forty-eight. What's it cost to upgrade on this uh, warrior? Was how much again? Uh, eighty, I think. Yeah, it was something like that. Yep, eighty. Okay. So. Uh, I think one more hurt. One more turn of healing would probably be a good idea. Maybe just take the shot. Let these guys both heal. I'm fine with that. Uh, the only thing is if that guy withdraws, but hopefully he won't. Okay. If he withdraws, hopefully he goes here because there's no more room for the military guy he here. He can withdraw he... east, right? Oh yeah, he can go there. That's true. Yeah. Hopefully he goes there and he just gets killed by the citadel. That'd be awesome. We don't want to kill things with citadels. No experience for us. What? That's nonsense. No gold from honor. So you know you you're looking at honor gives you gold for kills, and if you finish honor entirely, it gives you science for kills. Citadel kills don't give you anything. Hmm. They're they're considered attrition kills, and they just don't give you anything. Okay. So should maybe do some scouting. Mm -hmm. where, where where's this guy go? He wants to go fortify on the cattle, probably. That's where I would put him. Way over there? Yep, because there's a barb camp over there. And once he heals up, we can go poke around a little bit. But what we don't want to have happen is like a barbarian horseman show up and just pillage all those tiles. We don't have any military over there. We don't have any roads to move military around because all of our workers got stolen. I'm a little bitter about the workers. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Sig tuna just grew. Yeah. Uh, we have a good new tile, though. That's nice. Yep. Okay. Um... That's okay. <laughs> Not great. We need a worker up there. We have unimproved tiles. We have three unimproved tiles in that city, in fact. Sweden is OP, needs uh, 3.5 food, and we could get that, I think, if we stole... No, we're already working the buffalo. We'd yeah. have to unwork two tiles. We could do it just for the sake of growth, <coughs> but it, it is not It is not an increase in production. Or it's not an in, It's not a free one this turn. So. Gotcha. Next turn, we, we, we ought to... Well, next turn, we might not either. I mean, we have good tiles still to work, so... Okay. Okay, like we're yeah, we're we're doing we're doing okay. Wine connected, so yes, we are now friends with this dude. Yep, good for him. Yeah, we'll get like so. It was forty five influence for that one then? Huh? I think it was forty. Because we're thirty five, we had negative six, which recovered by one, and then we gained the th the forty, taking us to positive thirty five. Okay. Yeah, this guy wants to buy iron at a discount. Uh, we don't want to do that because we're already down to three. Okay. Then we tell him no. Your dick, go away. Spy is Maria been entered Ooh. Renaissance. All right, so that's why we have spies now. Yes. Yes. So Helsinki has grown. There's no bow. There, I think maybe it was in the community balance patch that like gave you small, small modifiers to growth based on happiness as well. I seem to recall like six percent, six happiness was like six percent more production or something. Must have been community, uh, a community balance patch then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we lose happiness? Did they pillage our spices? Is that what just happened? <laughs> Go look. It's one of the ones we took with the city state. Pillage the, yeah, spices. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Okay, well, Helsinki. Um. Farms? Yeah. You would stop working this in favor of. I When I get. A, I don't want to work. <laughs> it, it's all. It's. I would probably stop working the gems for a 1-1 right now because I value the food. The gold isn't terrible, though. We do have units we want to upgrade, so it's not actually bad working that gold right now. All right, sold. This guy's okay. going to the gems. I feel That's like good. we're not at war with anyone to the west, but I just have this distrust of... Of city-states. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too, man. For exactly the reason it just happened. Yeah. All right. All right, so this guy... Um, keep on doing our farm. I like it when workers, like, I don't need to think about what they're doing. That's yeah, nice. Okay. Here, let's go back to this scout, because he's far away. Okay. Actually, we could have gone there, because he's our friend now. Yep. Well. Not a big deal. Kill this guy or not? Yeah, I would. Okay, this guy's and fully I healed. I would move closer. But not within range of the city. Can they see us there? One tile out? The worker Shouldn't has two know. sight. Yeah, they absolutely can. The workers have oh. two sight. Okay, right, so the worker can see. I thought you meant the, the borders of the city. I've actually been trying to do that in one of my solo little campaigns, where I was like, 
trying to find the optimal locations. It's it's, it's kind of fun. It's like cat and mouse. <laughs> but uh, I want to see oh, one to two of these workers for sure. I, I don't so, see uh, him being able to like hide them all. He's They're got too just... many workers because he stole two from us. There's nowhere he can hide them all. Yeah, he'd have to throw them in the water, and I don't think they'll do that. But they might, but we'll see. So, the tile from which we can hit the most is uh, already. We can go one two one two on the next turn. Yep. I like where we are. We're not in range of the 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 city shot either right now, so it should be good. Okay, pretty happy with this. He crosses the river. Does that consume all of his movement? It does. Okay. Just stay there. Warrior okay. can heal. Yep. You can bring the warrior down if you want into uh, the uh, the citadel. Sure. I mean, why not? Right. Yep. All right. So let's talk about spies. All right. Something new. Yeah. The potential of Sweden as a P is 1,650. What the hell does that mean? I didn't even know there was a number with that. There's a number associated with that? Okay. Yeah. Don't don't ever pay any attention to that number. It means <laughs> it may mean something, but I don't know what it means. It doesn't mean anything that is useful to you. Here's how spies work. And I actually do know the formula because a number of years ago, I was very curious about the formula. And I got someone to data mine it for me after I'd done some extensive testing and wanted confirmation. So, uh, and I don't remember off the top of my head, although I can link you a thread if you want, but it basically works like this. The higher the science in the city, the faster your spy is going to steal. The higher the level of your spy, the faster the science, is, uh, the faster your spy is going to steal. And the the amount of time that it takes the spy to steal a tech is based on the cost of the highest tech you can, the most expensive tech you can steal from them. Okay. So, so let's take an example. We'll open up your tech tree because there's some interesting implications of this. Let's say you put a spy right now in Portugal's capital, and let's say the only tech you could steal from Portugal was optics. When the spy enters the city, and it would take a couple turns to transit there and a couple time, turns to get established, but when it finally enters the city and you get sight in the city, then it will calculate the time based on the most expensive tech you could steal. So if you could steal theology or optics, the, the cost of the spy steal is going to be based on theology. But if you could only steal optics, the cost is going to be based on optics. If you then research optics before your spy finishes stealing, and in the meantime they hit a tech that, they, that you could steal now, you can get it at the cost of optics. So we could steal theology or compass at the, at the cost of optics, assuming we time our spies right. We can't do this reliably versus the AI, but versus players, you can reliably, uh, not always, but a lot of times you can reliably put spies in at a certain time to essentially pay the cheaper rate to get the spy steal, but steal a more expensive tech. So hmm. you can get some really cool stuff with spies. Okay. Uh, plans for putting the spies. Spies are going to, we, spies take time to reset to move from city to city, and it's also kind of a pain in the ass to do that, it just wastes spy timing. So what we really would like to do is sink a spy in a city, a good city that's gonna give us lots of techs and not worry about the diplomatic repercussions of stealing from them. So somebody far away would be a great person to steal from. Two options, we know that Portugal is doing quite well in tech, I believe, are they tech leader right now? Mm. Oh, um, Demos, which is demos. one or F1 for you, whatever you did for that. Uh, so literacy, they are first. Portugal is currently first. We also know they have theology because they just built Anchor Watt, which means we know they have theology, which means that if we steal from them, we're going to pay a pretty hefty fee on our spy because it's going to steal the most expensive tech. And the most expensive tech right now is probably Anchor Watt, right? Anchor Watt tech, which is theology. So we don't so, actually want to spy on the person with the most techs. Interesting. Uh, it's not so much... They're more likely to counter spy themselves. It's not necessarily the most. We we want to spy on the target that's going to give us the most techs ourselves. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're all ahead of us in tech at this stage because we're playing DDA AI. So it doesn't really matter there. What we want to do is take from a, a, a the, the capital with the most potential. So if you sort if you sort by pop, that's a pretty good idea for our population there. Yeah, like that. I am tempted. Washington's pretty far away. At some point in the distant future, I kind of think we might have to go deal with him anyways because he's snowballing a little bit by killing Germany. It's either I wouldn't do Shoshone. Shoshone's pretty buddy buddy with us right now, and there's no real benefit to pissing him off. And I wouldn't do Persia for the same reason. Uh, I would consider either Lisbon or or uh, Washington here for the reasons of Lisbon. We're already at war with them. If we keep pissing them off, so be it. We'll keep farming their units. We know they have a bunch of techs. The longer out they're at war with us, though, the worse they'll do. Washington because he's likely to snowball. Either of those could be fine. Why is Porto not... Porto's not their capital, but it's got more pop. Wait, how did that happen? Pop. It's bigger pop. Now, it's not really true because probably the National College is in the capital. And I told you, one of the things that factors into spy steel timing is the amount of science the city is making. So it's likely that the capital actually makes more science than Porto. But it's telling us Porto. Okay. So, pick. 
<laughs> uh, yep, Washington or Lisbon. Toss a coin. What do you want? Piss uh, off someone else or piss off the guy we're already warring? The guy we're already warring. Okay, uh, then Lisbon it, or Lisbon it is. Yeah. Okay. And we will we will pay our first spy state will be slow because we know they have theology and it's gonna that's the cost is gonna pay for us. So. Okay. Seems fine. Okay. Now we're still at war. When are we gonna end this war? Whenever once we, we like, once we get the, uh, they the, threw all the workers in the friggin' water. It's gonna okay. have to be a horse unit. That's irritating. They embarked them all. Okay. Well, what if we yeah. just what if we just back off far enough that we can pounce on them? Is there any way we can do that? There's no position that they. Well, he can't well, see they, us right now. That's true. That's actually very true. He might unembark his workers, then we can steal some. That's a good. That's a really good thought. Nice room. If we if we put this warrior here, we can have two units and go one two one two. The we warrior can, can't we, go in range of Hong Kong. It's dead. If it does that. So I would I would either fortify the warrior or attack the compo. I would actually well, fortify the warrior. What if we warrior, upgrade him to a swordsman? Yeah, we need the gold. Well, what if we trade with our friend Ramesses or whatever the hell his name is? Uh, Darius. Yeah, Ramesses. I'm gonna call him, he's a he's a he's a mummy. Isn't Ramesses like want? a mummy or something? What does he, want? he doesn't want anything. He just wants to give us money because he's nice. What if we just demand some money from him? We do that. Man, I've never tried that in DD. I, I almost guarantee no, they'll no, tell no. you no. But you could you could you could suggest. I mean, the AI can sell, tell you, hey, we're having a bad day. Will you give us gold? And it gives you a boost if you do it. I think demands are negative uh, modifiers. Okay, so don't do the man. Just just Enter. ask for a one sided trade. Just see what he says. Sure, he's going to say no. <laughs> now we know! <laughs> but we could theoretically take a slight loss in order to do this tactical move here to get... Why? Do we actually have two copper right now? I think so. How long have we had two copper for? We need to get rid of one of those copper right now. Yeah, we do. Fuck, we do. Alright, we missed it then. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Let's take our social policy. Let's get, that's an easy... Let's take a one second thing. Cool, we'll finish tradition. Awesome. Free aqueducts for everybody. Now we grow a hell of a lot faster. You're going to get... You're going to want to min-max this, and I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, the way aqueducts work, it doesn't matter when you build them. It's still going to give you consistent uh, uh, food for those. Okay. Well, let's just real quickly go look up aqueduct so I can know why you're saying that. Okay. I'm assuming... Oh, right. You're not going to do a partial text search for me? Aqueduct. Am I spelling I it wrong? E, right? I think it's aqua. Is that right? Are we missing AC? Hold on a minute. Aqueduct. Damn I don't want to look this up right now. Damn it. Uh... Yeah, A Q U E. Yeah, Aqua. Aqueduct. Yeah, okay. What if the food is carried over after Nucinus is born? Yeah, okay, yeah. so there's no point in really worrying about it. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Helps these yes, it is what it is. Don't worry about it because what you're probably thinking is, hell, we just grew in Sweden. What if we'd done it last turn and like held the population instead of letting it grow? We'd get 40% and we'd be further ahead than we are now. No, it doesn't work that way with aqueducts. The bonus they give you is based on when they're created relative to the growth of the city. So it does not matter when you finish Aqueducts. Nice. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yep. Looks good. Looks good. Nice. That's done. No more workers. Wow. Um, Persia with the units over there. Why Persia? This is either going to backstab us. War? Why is that that warrior at half health? He's at war is with Portugal. At... Yeah, he is. Okay. That's interesting. When We're friends. I don't know. We're friends now. We is like this him. Turn? Is there, would there be a pop-up over here? Yeah, there was. There it is. He just he just declared war on her. All right. We I don't like, want him to win, but we I, like it. I like him a lot more now. Well, we <laughs> don't want him to win. Everybody's your enemy in the free for all. Hill. <laughs> we could shoot from here down to there, yep. can't we? Yeah, if you put a compo there, you absolutely can. Eh, this guy's actually probably fine staying fortified, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to put it any closer. We're short gold. We need to upgrade some units. Okay, um... Do you want to keep on working growth hard? I mean, we could... We, could we, we don't really have growth hard. hard. We're going to hit... Uh, I, I would want to... But I want We're to short we workers. Have, yeah, <laughs> we are. We're short two workers, in fact. Workers and upgrades and gold. Okay, yep. so... Before we forget again, we got to get rid of the copper. So... Uh, Darius wants no part of it. So uh, I would keep uh, bribing the Shoshone by making deals with them. We also have two silk now. Do they want silk? They want them both. Yeah, they'll sell them both. And it's just straight up to eight, right? I think it will give you. I think they'll only give you seven. No, no, try, eight. try eight and see what they say. The so eight. you wanted two more. Try. Don't give him open borders. Give him eight. Open borders is worth two. So he's not hit proposing. What did it say? Okay. Yeah. So he actually is not as buddy buddy as he pretends. We could try eight with Germany and see. 
and be four and then come back because otherwise we're only going to get sorry you tried seven and didn't do anything right or did i tried just eight i didn't try, try oh, seven. oh you didn't try seven i think it, i think it might come down to seven there's some there's something along the way maybe it's only eight if you're friends or something he doesn't value either of those right now he doesn't value those so it is seven he'll give us seven that's fine sure give him that so would you go with this guy or back to shoshone uh uh, Shoshone is slightly better for us. If we're going to min-max, Shoshone is the way to go. Right. Not silk. It was copper that we were doing first. Or seven. Yeah, both. Yeah. Okay. And then we also want to do silk to the same guy. Sure. We get two. Let's do it. Try eight real quick. Yeah. Still says no. Yeah. It says no in the most seven. annoying way possible. Okay. Okay. Um, so some gold. That helps. Truffles what from we Bismarck grow? just ended. Oh, so that, we were, that, that's we were where we trading copper, copper for truffles. Okay, so we got to be a little careful. Our happiness just went a little bit lower than we wanted, but we'll get happiness back when we improve these uh, spices with a worker, if we believe in these things anymore. Workers, that is. Workers are real. They do yeah. exist. <laughs> we could also get our happiness up by doing circuses. Yeah, I, I'm not against the circus here. A worker would be fucking nice, though. Well, we already have two over here in this city. Yeah, but it's more along the lines of when, when, when does a city have production to actually help the empire? And that may be right now. Okay. Because it doesn't need these things specifically, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Although a circus and a coliseum would be nice. So a circus is better than a coliseum almost always except in some cases, and I'll explain where on that. <laughs> almost circus always is, except for sometimes not. Yes. <laughs> they, they have the same amount of happiness. The coliseum is, I believe, slightly more hammers than the circus. I think it's like 100 to 80. 75. Okay, pretty close. Well, this is and, on standard speed, though, so. Yeah. Yeah, so the numbers are all fucked up. And uh, additionally, the coliseum has upkeep, but the circus doesn't. But the thing is, when you have all your coliseums built, it unlocks a national wonder called the Circus Maximus. So there is sometimes an advantage to building a coliseum when you prefer a circus just because you're going to actually want to unlock the, the Circus Maximus. I don't think that's here. I think a circus is fine. Circus or a worker here, I could be behind either one of those. Your choice. Actually, I take it back. Circus here, we can build a worker in the northern city. The northern city can't build a, a circus. So uh, when the northern city finishes its uh, trade route, we can build a worker. Hey, National College is in three turns. Nice. I'm that's really exciting. about that. Yep, Another caravan good. coming out and two more turns we're building it. We are already building a worker down here. Good. We need workers because we just had two stolen and we didn't have enough anyways. So, okay. Do you want to? Mm -hmm. Do you want to look at this? We're gaining enough money. Next turn, we could we could put this warrior here, and then have him be ready to, to Why do does the he... pounce. Oh, because you want to steal from there. I want to yeah. protect our one two one two. No, I don't want to move this warrior. We can All steal right. again from there. They're going to do the same. They're not going to learn. Hong Kong's not going to get smarter about this. So we can steal one worker, walk off with it. Then they'll see us and put all their workers in the sea again. And then they'll come right back. So we don't we don't care. We can get it we can get it with the one swordsman. Okay, now in a situation like that, would you have put him on alert instead of just fort regular fortify? Who? This the scout that you wanted to fortify on the on the sheep. No, the I'd fortify him. I wouldn't I mean I'll yeah. I'm gonna notice this is my capital. I I'd pay attention. I won't. No, it's true. And I I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of like uh There's no way I'll notice. Like willpower <laughs> savers, whatever you want to call them. So yeah. Willpower savers, what does that mean? You don't have to you don't have to exert mental cognitive resources to pay attention to that right he wants we, to re-up the steel but we don't have but we don't the, have to uh, so we say no well isn't it a net, a net neutral though because we don't have truffles right now yeah i know it's neutral but why do we want it why don't we give him silk or we're gonna get another silk online in like two minutes can we do that now we try that sure. yeah all right okay makes sense plus i i think he's gonna die soon so i think that any deals with him are just you know whatever we can get that are gonna be good for us yeah Okay, okay, worker one, back. Well, before we uh, process any of this turn, I think we need to take a small break here. All right, so see you guys we'll, soon. Uh, back in a bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.